Hi, I'm Jake Carrick, 8020 Product Specialist for the Michigan and Northern Indiana Territory. Today, with the help of my demo here, we're going to discuss the different series of 8020, the different weights, and why these things are going to be important to you in your future builds and applications. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first we're going to get started with the metric series of 8020 extrusion. Uh, the metric extrusion is available in a 20 millimeter, a 25 millimeter, a 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and a 45 millimeter profile. What that means, if you can look down here, is this app actually happens to be a 40 millimeter profile. So this bar here is a 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter profile. Um, and they multiply as the, as the sides change. So here would be a 40 millimeter by 80 millimeter. So the part number would be a 40 for the series dash 40 40 or a 40 dash 40 80 and so on and so forth as your parts get bigger. The same rule kind of applies to all of the other uh, metric series. So a 20 would be a 20 dash 20 20 to give you a 20 millimeter by a 20 millimeter bar, so on and so forth. Um, on the larger uh, extrusions like 40 series and the 30 millimeter series, you have various weights. And why this is important to you is literally what they do is they will extrude out pockets down the length of the bar, which means less aluminum, less weight, less rigidity, and ultimately less cost. If you have an application that needs to have that 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter profile, you want the eight millimeter T-slot on there, but you don't necessarily need the structural rigidity of all that extra aluminum. You can save some weight and some expense on your aluminum by switching to a light or an ultralight. You can notice these by the end of the profile. This would be a standard bar, and you can see that there's nothing extruded out of these pockets here. You go to the next one and you see we've started to extrude out the corners a little bit and that would give you the light. So again, you think over the course of a four meter bar, that saves a lot on material and weight. The rigidity is a little less than the standard bar. And then again, down to the ultralight, you can see that the pockets have been extruded out a little bit more even and then there's the star pattern in the center hole. It doesn't look like much from the end, but when you put that out across a whole four or six meter bar, it definitely adds a difference. We've got those, the weights in there, so you or our design team can help design what's gonna be best for you and save you a little bit of money on, the, uh, on that end. The other thing too is once you get into heavier or lighter applications, you can move from in between all these series. Now, they do have some transitionary pieces that will go between a 40 series and say a 30 series or one of the other smaller series. But the reality is it's much more conducive if you just stick with one series. Um, again, this will go into why knowing that weight is so important. Um, if you want to use an ultra, a 40 series ultralight, I recommend sticking with a 40 series because all of your components and everything is going to match up nicely versus if you're trying to mix and match to save a little on weight here and there. Sometimes uh, the components to mingle between the two series is limited um, or non-existent um, because of transitionary pieces, most people will stick within a, a, one of the series groups. So. But again, just to reiterate, that is why knowing that you can get these bars and these series in different uh, footprints, different weights is very important because you can make the decision based on your budget and what you're trying to accomplish, what's going to be the best use for it. Okay, so now we are looking at the demo of the fractional series for 8020. A couple of differences that you're going to notice between the metric side and the fractional. On the fractional, you can see the alignment or align of grooves. The part numbers are a little bit different on the fractional versus the metric. Uh, on the metric side, you have a six digit call out, call out. So a 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter bar would be a 40 dash 40 40. On the fractional, it's a four digit call out. So a 10 series is gonna be an inch by an inch standard bar to a 10, 20, 10, 30, 
2020 in inch increments. And then 15 series, going by that logic, obviously is inch and a half by inch and a half. Go up to a 1530, that's an inch and a half by three, so on and so forth. But you only have the two series on the, of the standard T-slotted aluminum in the uh, fractional side. All of the 15 series is available in not only the grooved, but the smooth surface as well. And it is available in the standard light and ultralight with the same style of uh, material extruded out of the length of the bar is what we should look at in the metric. 10 series being that it's so small, does not have a light or an ultralight. It's already light as it stands. Same rules though, it's available in with the alignment grooves or in a smooth variant. So this is, it's very much similar to what we discussed on the metric side, just only the two series, the difference in the part numbers, but all in all, it's about, it's about the same stuff that we had discussed on the metric side. Now you're going to see uh, these, the P tube and what we call holy tube. Uh, it is, a non T slotted, still an extruded product, but it comes, it's just a square tube. Um, and that comes in a solid square tube or what we call holy tube, which has uh, pre drilled holes through it the whole way through. Um, if you're doing something fairly light duty and it's a very cost uh, conscious application, that is a, a will save you a little bit of money versus using a, a standard T slotted solution. This is also inch and a half by inch and a half. That's all that the ready tube is available in. Now, if you go up one more, this is a very, very light duty um, offering and it's called quick frame. It's inch by inch profile. It has, some of them have fins so that you can insert a panel in there. And it has one specific fastener for it that is uh, basically, it's a composite plastic tap in uh, corners and tees to put it together. Again, great solution for really light duty um, applications that have cost in mind. Uh, as far as really taking advantage of the modular solution that 8020 has to offer, uh, this does not have a, lo a long list of components to use with it. It's really kind of for, it's a kind of a one trick pony, but it's still a great, a great match for some lighter duty things uh, maybe if you just need to add a window or something like that to a machine guard, um, you don't want to break the bank on it and you don't want to weigh a bunch, then the uh, quick frame is a good solution. These are all available uh, in a black anodized, a safety yellow powder coat, and they will quote uh, custom anodized colors and custom powder coats if you have that uh, RA number available for the coat or for the color. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative and it'll help you in your future projects with 8020. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact your local account manager, your local NEF automation branch, or if you're in my territory, contact me. Again, thank you very much and have a great day.